We want to invite you to take a short tour of the Dr. Rath Research Institute in California. I will be your tour guide. My name is Dr. Alexandra Nitzwicki and I am the head of this research institution. But before we start, I would like to tell you something about myself. Before becoming head of this uh, research institute, I conducted scientific work in several countries, starting from my own home country, Poland, then Canada, and for the last two decades, I've been doing research in the United States. I have had the privilege to work directly with two Nobel laureates in world-leading scientific institutions, with Dr. Uh, Gerald Edelman at the Rockefeller University in New York, and Professor Linus Pauling at his own institute in California. During my research, I studied uh, cellular mechanisms that determine how long an individual organism can live. What is the basis of its longevity? It was during this research that we found the paramount importance of vitamins in slowing down aging process. I also studied what happens in the smallest building blocks in our body, the cells, when they grow, multiply, when they are exposed to stressful conditions, and how different nutritional factors can regulate these processes at the genetic and metabolic levels. Today we know that health and disease are determined at the level of these tiny cells and therefore it is necessary to understand many details about how they function and how to optimize their performance. The results of my research have been documented in more than 100 scientific papers in many book chapters. They were presented at numerous international conferences and meetings. Based on scientific achievements in the field of nutritional research, I became a fellow of the prestigious American College of Nutrition and serve as a member of the editorial board of reputable scientific journals. But today I would like to share with you some of the research in the field of micronutrients and health that take place here at the Dr. Graf Research Institute. Along this hallway you can see many posters. They re represent just a fraction of the scientific research that we shared with other scientists at various conferences and meetings. Our presentations cover many topics. The role of micronutrients in regulating cancer cells growth and spread in the tissue. Also, how micronutrients affect the formation of deposits in the arteries and what actually triggers this dangerous process that eventually leads to heart attacks and strokes. Some of you who are familiar with our work know that this is not high cholesterol, but vitamin deficiencies in the weak vascular wall that are real causes of this problem. And here our research team is working by using scientific methods to prove that. We also conduct research in the field of the immune health and study the role of micronutrients in viral and in bacterial infections. Let me demonstrate a few examples of how we work. In this uh, laboratory, under using this hood, we can grow cells under sterile condition and expose them to different treatments, to uh, different natural compounds, in order to understand better, but also it tests how we can improve the function of the cells and your health. The microscope you see here allows us to have a closer look at the level of cells. And here you see the picture of what we see under the microscope. This is a slice of a tumor tissue. 
The dark areas represent the cells inside of a tumor mass, and the pink layer surrounding this mass represents the border of this tumor. This natural border built of collagen tissue restrains the tumor cells from moving freely to the surrounding healthy areas of the tissue and expanding. But not all tumors look like that. Here you see an example of such a tumor. This tumor does not have this natural border. In such cases, the cancer cells can spread easily and invade tissues and other organs. What do you think was the reason why this protecting border was formed around the first tumor? The answer is simple. In this case, it was the presence of vitamin C in a diet of an animal that lost its ability to produce vitamin C internally, just like all humans did 40 million years ago. This vitamin is essential for the formation of collagen in the body and to protect tumors from spreading. There are many more exciting scientific findings on this topic that come from our research conducted here. Just this short glimpse on our work shows you what a unique company we are. No other supplement company invests money in its own academic type of institute which provides such a high quality of scientific research. Our pioneering work conducted here at the Dr. Rath Research Institute has greatly contributed to increasing our understanding of the importance of micronutrients in health. 